It's only week two, and already I have idle fever. I'm so excited. But if you missed <laughs> out on the first episodes, do not worry. That's right. Let's get you caught up right now. Last Thursday's night, episode of American Idol featured some interesting and unique voices. Take a look. As he broke his back, trying to make oh, his hands <laughs> American Idol featured a wide range of singers in Little Rock and San Francisco. But for judges Keith Urban and Harry Connick Jr., the city by the bay offered some impressive talent. Okay, we can all exhale now. Yeah, we, we, have, we, have, we have a competition. In the course of about two hours, about five or six people come in that were just phenomenal. I mean, really great. Maybe the best single day audition city since I've been on the show, hands down. Why are you so fine? <laughs> One of the contestants got a little flirty with Jennifer Lopez, directing his audition to her, and the idol judge even took time to babysit while another contestant sang. So there were a lot of cheers for those heading to Hollywood. I came out and I almost like did a backflip. I was so excited. I'm just like, oh my god! <laughs> my parents were like afraid I was gonna like fall over or something. Got me on my knees. I'm begging, please. They like how I know who I am. They said you have a great sense of self and you have great song choice and you know yourself and it just felt good and there were many tears for those who saw the idol doors close forever on their dreams you know what I thought it was gonna be good. I know. <laughs> the competition continues tonight in philadelphia it's gonna be an even bigger letdown if you don't make it because you know it's the I last know. season but hopefully they'll come up with another you know you've got I the know. voice still mm -hmm. Still, I'm a little sad watching that. Do you and those auditions never get old. No, they never, really don't. You know, watching them. And I don't have a favorite yet, but I do love the girl whose um, mom was in the military and they had a chance to surprise her. That was oh, pretty cool. that's always. But now to some Idol uh, news that I think is going to surprise you about a past top candidate in American Idol, Adam Lambert. Did you know that Lambert earned more than any other American Idol alum in 2015 and didn't even win his season? <laughs> Forbes released their annual list of top earning American Idols and Lambert came in first, pulling in a staggering $10 million in 2015. Carrie Underwood and Chris Daughtry came in second and third. The 33-year-old uh, Lampert was the frontman for the Queen's World Tour, which I forgot that he was, so yeah, it all makes sense now. Lampert was the runner-up of Idol's eighth season. I would have said Carrie Underwood hands I know. down. I am really, really, really shocked at that. I, I didn't see that come in at all. He is one of my favorite alums, though, so mm -hmm. I mean, I, I can't think of any. I know he had a song recently out on the radio that I, I kind yeah. of was in tune to, but I can't really think of but other. But it's Queen. Everybody loves Queen. Right. So I think if he was on tour, they were probably able to uh, make a pretty pity on that. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. Interesting. All right. Well, uh, now that you're all caught up and ready uh, to go, let's take a look at now what you can expect tonight on Idol. The television landmark that changed the rules is back for a farewell season full of homecomings. Hello, Philadelphia! Fox Tonight, second season sensation Clay can returns to help discover an idol one last time. Are you the powerhouse that we're looking for? Yeah. Yeah. American Idol, the farewell season tonight at 8, 7 central on Fox. I'm really looking forward yeah. to this season. I'm going to make sure I set my DVR this time because yep. I did miss the first yeah. part of it. Well, hold that thought because there is even more excitement coming your way tonight. The series premiere of Second Chance is up just after Idol. And in case you are not familiar with this particular show, here's your chance now to learn all about Mom and Dad would have said what we're about to do should be left to God. This is a show about a guy who gets a second chance, a modern-day Frankenstein. Initiate phase two. He's not been sewn together. He's been genetically spliced. So he looks beautiful. The monster is inside. He's a 75-year-old in his mind, but he wakes up as a 35-year-old. The people who create this man, Mary and Otto Goodwin, are twins who have created a company called Looking Glass, which is the equivalent of Google or Facebook. It turns out that Mary is dying. And so Pritchard, when he's brought back, is really kind of a donor to save her life. Mary realizes we didn't bring back a lab route, we brought back a man. You're the first to journey all the way back to get another chance. Richard, he's a retired, in disgrace sheriff. He's an alcoholic, he's a bad father, selfish, irresponsible. When he is reborn, none of that changes. I think I jumped. You might not be ready to remember what you did. No! There was a break-in in my son's house. I caught them and then they threw me off that bridge. I don't care if you believe me. My son is in trouble. 
He can run faster, jump higher. And not only is he like he used to be, he's better than he ever was. You give somebody like that powers, it's cool. And it, it's scary. You a cop? It's gonna need your bank call now, buddy. What's it like to have lived your life? to have major mistakes, and then suddenly have a second chance to go back and repair your family mistakes. This will do. What kind of cop are you? Suddenly, I'm the sheriff. He has to fight against every urge, all his demons, to be a better person. It looks good. Remember that all of the action starts right here on Fox 4 in just a few hours. American Idol starts at 8 p.m. sharp, followed by Second Chance at 9 p.m. Then keep it right here for Fox 4 News at 10, where they will have the latest on my winning lotto numbers. <laughs> or, you know, I, I'm sorry, hour. I can share hour. a little bit. Uh -huh. <laughs> winning lotto numbers. We may or may not be here tomorrow. I don't know. We'll have to see. Let's hope not, right? <laughs> We're all open. <laughs> Up next, if the new year has to you cleaning up the clutter, Stop throwing everything away right now. That's because you first need to hear from our antiques appraiser about what could actually be worth some money. Maybe you don't, you don't need to win the lotto. lotto. Exactly. <laughs>